Okay, this is a continuation of Dismantling Islam with Christian Prince, or also known as uh, Christian Prince Dismantling Islam. And uh, anyway, <laughs> uh, I I think I'll just play it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You'll know why I'm uh, recording these, uh, make it into a series instead of having so long. Here it goes. All right. Everything in Earth first, before he created any light, and that was Wednesday. And this is confirmed what is says in chapter 41, verse number 9 to 12, where it says it clearly that the Earth was created first, and everything is in the top of the Earth was created first, and after that, the heaven was created. And for sure, this is nothing but a fiction based on their article. And then they continue making the false statements. God's throne. God's throne. Let us go to this topic now. They want to talk about the relative time. We mentioned to you that this verse about God, one day for God is equal to 1,000 years, is mentioned in the gospel, in the Bible. So if they want to speak about the relative of relativity of time, the Muslims, they have no right to mention it because it is in the Bible where it mentioned that long before even Islam is exist. So why the liars, they are making it about the Quran. And look guys, look what the Muslims, they say. In chapter 32, verse number 5, it's time versus distance. Time versus distance. This is give us a speed of an angel which turned out to be speed of light. It turned out to be the speed of light? Guys, the Muslims, they discover something, that the speed of the angel, it turned to be the speed of the light. How how you figure that? Let us see. They don't say, they just say things and they lie, they fool you. The speed of light. Uh, this is a different article, we can go there later. However, Quran chapter 22, verse number 47, uh, Quran 4, 74, our time this time, time this time, no distance. This is time, uh, relation, uh, Quran 2247 compares time for, of earth with the time of the paradise and hell, one day versus 1,000 year. While Quran 70.4 compare time on earth with time in warm holes. It's the verse became about warm holes. Oh, okay, Abdul, I'm going to open a hole in the ass of your prophet immediately. Excuse my language. I cannot resist the temptation. Remember, guys, the Muslims are saying, let me drink something before I open the hole. I don't want to smell that thing. Mm. <clears throat> chapter 70 verse number 4 is about the warm holes in the space is that right let us go to the Quran and love together remember 74 chapter 70 verse number 4 here we go in the front of your eyes we will love together in a second unbelievable unbelievable and the funny, the funny, they are quoting for us the chapter of Al Mi'raj, which is the chapter where Muhammad he fly in the top of a mule. So they just say that the speed of angels is the same speed of light, but they did not mention to us that Muhammad he was not riding an angel; he was riding a donkey. A donkey with two wings, and he was able to go to the seven heavens, which means the end of all galaxies, and come back in a few hours. So what speed of flight you are talking about, Abdul? Huh? You can go to the end of the universe in eight hours in a speed of light? May the light of Allah make you barbecue. And I mean by the light of Allah, his uh, cigarette. Read with me, guys. This is the interpretation of the Quran from the Muslim's mouth, not from a Christian prince. I'm not the one who's making things up. 
It is them. Tafsiru Jalalain. To him, to the place in the heaven, to which he command ascends and ascends. Read feminine person. This is about the Arabic language now. Let us jump. Okay. The angels and the spirit of Jibreel in a day is equal to 50,000 years of your count. So what the verse here is speaking about, that it take the angels in the judgment day, in the judgment day, it take them 50,000 years to travel. 50,000 years to go to Allah. And that is equal to one day for Allah. What does that mean exactly? The Muslims are trying to say to us, there's a verse before it says that one day for Allah is equal to 1,000 years. And now Allah is saying that one day is equal to 50,000 years. But what the Muslim will not say to you that this verse is speaking about the judgment day. Supposedly in the judgment day is going to be very long distance or let us say very long uh, trouble to go up to the heaven is going to take to be 50,000 years. Question. <clears throat> Why the angels is taking them 50,000 years to go to heaven? If the angels, first of all, took them 1,000 years to come down to earth, how Muhammad was receiving Quran every few hours about his problems? Who is the one who delivered the Quran? It was Jibreel, according to Muslims. If Jibreel need 1,000 years to go, and he need that's mean he need 1,000 years to come back too. That's mean 2,000 years. So let us say Muhammad, he received a message today from Jibreel. And then Jibreel is going to deliver another message tomorrow. That tomorrow have to be 2,000 years after now. Because Jibreel, he need to go to Allah. That will take him 1,000 years. And he will come back down to earth and that additional 1,000 years. And that means the coming message of Muhammad should be delivered 600 years after now. However, if we go back in the article and read more, because I don't want people to say this is not what they are saying. Let us read the article and love together more. <clears throat> oh, they stop here. Guys, right away, they stop here. I thought there's an article. It says that one day is verse to 1,000 and 50 and, and chapter 70 verse number 4 compare the earth with the time of the warm holes so i'm going to click at the warm holes so we can get it busted but what we can do they jump there so we have to go and see the warm holes <clears throat> the time is relative we know etc you can read <laughs> all right in chapter 70.4, compare time on earth with time in the wormholes. One day is equal to one to 50,000 years. What is the wormholes exactly? Let us see. Quran 74, angels and the spirit scandid to him in a day, the measure of which 50,000 years. Here the angels will experience one day while a human will measure 50,000 years. Is that what the Quran is saying? Is that really what it says? No. No. That's a lie. The Quran says the angels and the spirit, they will escandid in a day. But that day is a measurement of 50,000 years, not in our count. This is the measurement. So it's going to take them 50,000 years, the angels, to trouble. If this is in the count of the angels, that means the angels will receive, will go to Allah after 50,000 years. If the angels will take them one day to go up and to go down, then that will be the measurement day on the earth, as they claim. 
But all of us, we knew that this is in the judgment day and there's nobody on earth no more. For everybody is a skin day, the spirit and the angels. Here the angels will experience one day while a human will measure at it as 50,000 years. But there's no human left. This is judgment day. Angel accelerate, <clears throat> etc. speed and angels will, uh, is, are a strong graphic. Oh, you see the angels are in a, in a strong graphic field. Man, look at this. But angels, my friend, are flying in 50,000 years, not inside a graphic field. They are going in the space. What a graphic field. So they want to say to you that the angels, they are going to go through a, ho a hole. It's called the warm hole. Why is Allah in the warm hole? Is Allah in the warm hole? Outside the graffito field, this degrees, this agrees with in the of theory of a special reality, and it says that the faster moving object appear to be to experience the slower time. Muslims are in a Scythian theory. Use or oh, the Muslim they use this theory, they use it special of a special relativity with the following verse in the Quran. Check. We check. We don't see still anything of that. They show you a mathematical uh, calculation and then they say, at this time measure, measured for more over by mover, <coughs> by a mover. AT is the time measured for, I don't want to read this. I mean, you can take your time to read it. Where, where's the verse? Uh, wh where's, what is the proof that this is fit with the Quran? Look what they say. At this time, as measured by humans, 50,000 lunar year. 50,000 lunar year? Mm. Did he say lunar? Did he say lunar? Guys, is the article saying lunar? Question. Why your Allah is measuring by the lunar year if the lunar year is wrong? Okay. So the lunar year, mountains and lunar year, X, what, etc., 27.321661. Days, lunar month. Uh, in this, etc., etc., uh, normal speed of the light is 29. 9792.458 okay from above okay we will find we can solve for the unknown vessel velocity unknown so they divide they divide one minus one on 50 x 12 x 27232 and then they get the number 2999792 point five four nine 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 four and then the etc is equal to zero nine 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 and eight one this is time deletion time difference anyone understand anything anyone understand anything me myself I understand nothing they are using numbers to confuse you because the Quran is so clear one Day is equal to 50,000 years of your time. And that means there's two timing. There's day, one day, and there is 50,000 years. Is that correct, guys? Is that clear? The verse is so clear. One day is equal to 50,000. As long as the Muslims are taking it in a literal way, that means Allah is inside the time. Is that correct? As long as the Muslims are calculating the day of Allah, this is the day of the Allah of Allah. This is not the day of anyone. This is where Allah is located. His day is one thousand year for us, one day for him, and later is going to be one day is equal to fifty thousand years. That's mean Allah is inside the time. And if Allah is inside the time, that's mean he age. And if Allah he age, that mean he is under the physic. He grow. 
And that means he is not out of time and he is just a creature like everybody. Oh, gotta stop it.